to see everyone. All right, um, so <clears throat> the first thing I, uh, we need to talk about today, because I feel as though I haven't um, spoke about our beautiful country in a long time. That's how I feel. And what I want to talk about is how how do you okay so this is what happened you remember the Salahis the people that um, crashed the White House uh, White House dinner for the Indian delegate delegate whatever he was I don't really know anyway the Salahis uh, a couple from DC crashed the party just walked right on in passed the Secret Service and anything everything come to find out there was a third person that crashed the party. What is the Secret Service doing? I don't understand this. Now, not only did they have that blunder, and I, well, I, there are two different departments, obviously. There's the Secret Service, but I wanna know who is running our intel. And I'm checking my Blackberry, because this is where I have all my notes and whatnot, because I don't have cards and everything. But, so, I wanna talk about the Christmas bomber, okay? Now, this guy, this black guy, from Nigeria. And they had to shut down the airports and everything because they thought he was going to blow something up. Now, what I don't understand is why they weren't watching this young man from Jump Street. Okay? Now, what this is this is this is this is the um the timeline. Okay? And a couple red flags popped up in my head. Um he was born in Nigeria, okay? He went to school. First of all, they keep telling him he's a rich kid. He's a rich kid. He has money, this, that, and the third. Who cares? So he was born in Nigeria, and then he um, studied Arabic in Yemen, okay? Uh, um, then he went to school in London, and he was the president of the Islamic Society for the... Um, club, a group for his that school, okay? Now, at, while he was uh, the president of this club, he invited known jihadists, known jihadists and terrorists to come and speak to the people in this in this group. Mind you, that the, one of the jihadists that he um, was in contact with was the same man that was in contact with the... Um, shooter at Fort Myers. I don't understand how this does not raise a red flag, but whatever, okay? So, after that, he flew to Houston. He had a, a student visa, school visa, okay? He went back to Yemen, tried to go back to London because uh, for something, but the visa, they wouldn't accept the visa because the school he was attending in London didn't even exist, okay? Then on top of, uh, when he went back, he went back to Yemen, and then he tried to get, uh, he bought a one-way ticket to Detroit in cash. That would raise red flags for me. First of all, anyone buying a one-way ticket in cash, you need to check on. Not necessarily saying that they're a terrorist, but what are you running from? When you get a one-way ticket, you're obviously not coming back, okay? When you use cash, you're trying not to leave a trail. You understand what I'm saying? So when you see, when you have someone, you know, like, I don't understand it. I don't, that whatever. They need to do the, their job better. That, that's how I feel. They need to do their job better. The, they spent 17 years, the FBI spent 17 years investigating Michael Jackson and came up with nothing. Nothing. But you can't catch, you you. Wh wh why can't you catch these red flags? I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But we can move on. We can move on. So what do y'all think? This is not finished. You know, I just want I just want to do something a little different for y'all. You know, show y'all something. Um, yeah, it's a little. Wendy Williams-ish, but I love her, and why not? Do you watch her? 
Obviously do if you're trying to say I'm trying to be like her. Hater. But that's quite all right. That's quite all right. But um, what else did I want to talk about today? Can we talk about, have y'all seen the new um, Vanity Fair cover? With Tiger Woods that's coming out soon? Take a look at this picture. Take a look at it. A Scully shirtless and what? Oh, so you a nigga now? Oh, okay. So you, 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 you I, we ain't never seen this side of Tiger before. We always see him in the polo shirts with, with the, with the, with the, with the, 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 the cap and, 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 and a Buick. And now all of a sudden, you lifting weights. First of all, you don't even have any abs. Where are your abs? Where are your abs? You have lung protrusion. I don't know, child. I don't know. And then, why are your nipples so hairy? What? That is one thing that is very unattractive to me. Hairy nipples. Your nipples shouldn't be hairy. That's just how I'm feeling. Shave them. You could have shaved them. How the only thing on you on your chest? Your nipple, hairy, your nipples. Like, anyway, but they say that these photos were taken four years ago, I believe. Four years ago. Um, that was a good play by Vanity Fair. Very good play. Because you know what? I do want, I want to see the rest of the pictures because I want a good laugh. But um, I think that was a very good play on their part to keep, you know, keep the photos back. I don't know if they did it. I mean, who knew he was cheating? Well, someone knew, but whatever. Your hair, your nipples are hairy. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Moving on to the next sub subject. Um, so can we talk about, I guess, the heiress of Johnson & Johnson died. Who cares? Who cares? Another rich bitch gone. My life will go on. I mean, what was she going to do with the money anyway? Spend it on Tila Tequila? What is he talking about? Yes, apparently, Casey Johnson was engaged to Tila Tequila. Whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, Tila Tequila, though, like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand To reach their own child. But I just wanted to try out something new for y'all and see if what y'all think. Comments, suggestions. I know it's a little boring back here. Like I said, I'm just starting out, so let me know what you think. Um, also, don't forget, coming uh, March, I will be the new uh, web host for U Scorch, which is... Uh, the video online video section for the number one plus size fashion magazine, Scorch Magazine. Check it out, scorchmagazine.com. Shout out to all the ladies at Scorch Magazine. I am so excited and, and, and I can't wait to work with you. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So check out the magazine, scorchmagazine.com or scorchmag.com. Um, Join the group on Facebook. Follow them on Twitter at Scorch Magazine. Uh, follow me as well at J Taylor TV and add me on Facebook. And let's become friends because you know what? I'm going to be famous one day. More famous than I already am. And you're going to want to be my friend. Trust and believe. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the day. Thank you guys. I love you. Smooches. Mwah, 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 mwah.